We're gonna do this uh, next one here. This is something different, something that I do that's always a counter to the person being heavy with their hands and grabbing my neck. All right, sometimes you'll, you'll go through the motions of the things you think you should know how to do and that doesn't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch sides here, Jeff. And Jeff, you're gonna lean in, you're gonna grab my neck heavy here so that they can see. So sometimes I'm here in this position, the person is weighing heavy on my neck and I've tried this and I've tried this and I, I just don't wanna be doing one of these to try to get away because you're gonna get exposed and you're gonna get taken out. So one of the things that I started to do when the person is heavy on my neck, all right, and they're heavy, stay heavy, Jeff, is I take the hand on the outside of the arm that they're grabbing, right, and I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna control the wrist, I'm gonna go, look at this hand, I'm gonna go underneath, and I'm gonna close the distance forward. Look at Jeff's elbow now, look at the hand he was grabbing on my neck. It's completely exposed, and what I do is I take that step and I already set myself up. Because now when Jeff releases that arm, go Jeff back up. I have everything in the world to do. I can drag, I can lower my level, I can drop underneath him, I can make up as I go. And this gives you no worry whatsoever. So I'm here with Jeff, you guys, my neck heavy. There it is, I wrist control. And I grab his elbow and I pull. I pull myself in. I don't push myself in, I pull myself in, just like you would with an arm drag. I pull myself in. And now, he feels exposed, so he's gonna let go. And usually I can get to the underhook, and that already sets me up for moves that we've already learned. That's an, oh, another way to set up something else. All right, so this is another good defense offense, all right?